What's up, everybody? I am Ghostboy Colby, and we're back here in Final Fantasy. Um, I never did get around to... Huh, I, I forgot to check and see how to speed up the game, but, uh, you know, it's, it's been a little while. I'm, I'm trying to get back uh, readjusted to recording again. Uh, like I said, you know, like I've put in descriptions and expressed vocally, it's making videos has been a bumpy road within the last week or so maybe a little bit over a week but um, I'm trying not to let it stop me and uh, I figured that it should be easy enough to make a Final Fantasy video not necessarily like easier than the other videos but just like I don't want to have to worry about the Xbox stuff right now uh, I know it'll work it's just I'm trying to do something that's a little more reliable right now. So that's what we're doing. Uh, let's see. Astos, bleh, Astos Curse has put our prince into a deep sleep from which he cannot awake. Please, will you not attempt to aid our slumbering prince? Okay, so they just say the same thing. Um, the Dark Elf King, Astos, stole into the castle and placed a curse on our prince. Then Astos carted away the castle's treasures. So he robbed them. Well, first he put the prince to sleep, or in a coma basically, and then robbed them and just ran away. Now they can't find him. The, dwell or, blah, the dwarves live in a cave on the western edge of the Aldean Sea. Okay. We'll have to remember that. They're a friendly bunch. Well, that's good. Good to know that the dwarves and the elves are on good terms. And to just know that the dwarves are apparently good creatures, just in general. I mean, I'm sure there's a few bad eggs, but, you know. I mean, obviously, it's the same way with the elves, because otherwise we wouldn't have a dark elf king, now would we? The prince has slept under Astos' curse for five years now. There must be some medicine that can browse the sleeping. But where? Hmm. I wonder where we might get such a potion. Or something of the sort. Some sort of medicine. Something that can wake the prince up. Well, they did mention that, I think it was to the west of here, that there was a castle. Maybe something similar to the Chaos Shrine from the beginning of the game. So maybe... Uh, well, we need to go there, I just don't know what we'll find there. I actually do, but for your sake, I'm trying to keep spoilers out. If I, if I ever act like I don't necessarily know what I'm getting into with a game that I've played before, uh, you can pretty much take it for granted that I'm doing it for your sake and not not because I really don't know what's gonna happen Like to keep a little bit of a Well, sometimes it's it's because I genuinely forget where we're going or what we're doing sometimes but If it's like that where you can hear me slowly like spelling it out for you basically but holding back information it's because I'm trying not to give too much away, because I don't want this surprise or whatever to be ruined. Uh, and I'm, I'm just trying to make sure everybody's like keeping up with the story, basically. So yeah, uh, last time we got here from uh, Provoca after we had rescued them from the pirates. And basically, as a reward for our efforts, we got the ship of the pirate's leader. We used that to sail down here to Elfheim, where we are now... I think it's called Elfheim. Uh, the reason, reason I had a hang-up about that is that I've watched Sword Art Online. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. I like it. And, um... Yeah, 
uh, there's, I, I don't remember if it was, I think it was Alfheim. So, in my head I keep, like, having to stop and ask myself, wait, which is which? But, uh, so we got here to Alfheim, and now their prince is in a coma that we need to awaken him from. What we'll get in return, I have no idea. But we need to do it. We just don't know how yet. Um, the healer's suggestion was that we find some way to get a hold of some sort of uh, potion or medicine of, of whatever type that would be able to do that. We just don't know where we're going to get such a potion, if it exists. So right now we are just exploring, hoping to find the answers to our questions. Uh, it's... I don't remember exactly... I don't remember where... places that we're supposed to go next. But for the sake of... I don't want to say role-playing. Uh, for the sake of... keeping mystery, I guess, let's just say that I'm just exploring as if I'm playing the game for the first time. I do know that these encounters are getting annoying. See, people have different opinions on getting overpowered in a video game. I think as long as you've earned it, there's nothing wrong with it. Now, if it's just handed to you, that's different. But I see it, the, the way I see it, is if we're coming across all these monsters simply just trying to get to where we're supposed to go, that then if we beat all of them along the way, that means we earned whatever overpoweredness we happen to get. If they're really weak enemies like that, that I know for sure we're gonna be, I'm just gonna run away. Because I don't want to waste the time. Um... I get the feeling we're probably not supposed to go in there. I don't know. Hold on. I'm gonna look at the map. If I can. I think it's supposed to- oh. Uh, there we go. It's the combination of the buttons select and B, but since I'm playing it on an Xbox controller, uh, it's the same positioning as the buttons for well, okay, let me put it this way. The way that Xbox and Nintendo do these four buttons right here is switched. So, on a Nintendo game system, like uh, the Nintendo Switch or the Nintendo DS, for example, B is going to be where your Xbox A button is, and A is going to be where your Xbox B button is. And X and Y are also switched. So for me, it's select A, but if you were actually playing this on the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, it would be select B. Um, but I don't know... You know what? I think we're actually supposed to go north. Oh. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. This sucks. Let's see, I need to... I think I need to heal. I expect this episode to go maybe a little bit over time. I, it's going to be hard for me to keep up with time in this episode. I tried to go by, like, progress and not necessarily how long I've been playing, but sometimes I do have to go by time instead of progress. It just depends. Mostly the reason I have to go by time and not progress is because editing isn't exactly an easy uh, thing for me right now. Like I realize editing is never necessarily easy, but I don't really have a lot of uh, software that's very good for it. I mean I have what Microsoft comes with by default, but I don't I don't really know how to work it Maybe that's just gonna be a matter of I actually need to use the damn thing 
so if that's all it takes, then I guess one of these days I'll get around to figuring out how the default video editing stuff works. Oh, the Western Keep. Okay, so this must be the castle that they, or whatever it was that they mentioned before. These ruins right here. I don't really see anywhere to go except for that one room right there. But maybe there is somewhere we can go. Oh, what about right? Oh, no, that's locked. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, Mystic Key. I know how we get that, but I'm not gonna spoil it. So. Yeah, I feel like it's not really a spoiler to say that we will get it, because I'm not saying how. The King. I was tricked by Astos, King of the Dark Elves, and now my castle has fallen into ruin. If I could only retrieve the crown from the Marsh Cave, I would be able to restore my castle. Well, where's the Marsh Cave? Is that that place down at the south? That we were just at? We, might you bring me the crown? Uh, they never mentioned anything about a current elf king because they said if the prince doesn't awaken there will be no king Hmm Sketchy Um, Maybe Maybe that is it Because I can't I don't know where else Marsh Cave would be. Uh, let's go down there and see. I'm not fighting these Goblin Guards. I already explained why. Sorry if I don't necessarily have a lot of stuff to say right now. <laughs> I'm mostly just going by what's happening in the game, and right now, literally all we're doing is just Traversing the landscape, trying to see if a certain destination is the place we need to go. And if it's not, then we're gonna get the hell out of there. And keep looking. Alright, alright. See, this gets really fucking annoying. Uh, I was trying to censor that F-bomb there because I'm not like super pissed off, but I think leaving it uncensored <laughs> uh, really portrays, really gets across how frustrating it is because when they just paralyze you over and over again, and most of the time they will tend to go after the same guy. Like whoever you have in your first- Oh no, I remember this place. <laughs> oh no. Uh, most of the time they'll go after whoever you have in your first party slot in your formation. So you want to have your tank there, the one that you want absorbing most of the damage. But also, they'll- If they don't go for that guy, they'll tend to gravitate to just whoever has the least health in general, who will be the easiest to kill, and then their AI all just gang up on that one enemy. So, yeah. Um... Oh, also, uh, hopefully, the issue that I had with the first two episodes of this game will be fixed, because in the first couple episodes, uh, the resolution, I guess, the scaling was off, so you couldn't quite see all of the stuff being shown on screen. For example, uh, whenever we're in this these battles, you couldn't see Anne's stats, like her health and uh, MP. And uh, hopefully that should not be an issue anymore. Uh, it was just a thing in OBS where I had to change the resolution scaling of the frame, or the, uh, 
the video capture device that I have actually capturing the video. <laughs> so, it's just technical stuff that is for me to worry about and not you, but I figured I might as well explain it, that way I have something to talk about. As you just saw, these green slimes are very, uh, they're f uh, resistant to magical, or er, to, uh, physical attacks, but they are weak against, um, magical attacks. And so that's why... Oh god, I don't remember where to go. I should probably leave. That's why whenever we were using physical attacks on the green slime, it barely did anything. And yet when we used the uh, fire on it, it went down with pretty much no problem. So yeah, if you're facing those green slime, just remember to use magic on them. As much as you can. I'm trying not to let Lazarin die, but I don't know if that's really going to be possible. I want to get out so I can use, uh, I think I still have, I need to look and see, tent, yeah. See, but I don't know if it will get rid of the poison on Lazarin. Um, I'm thinking. I'm trying to decide if I want to just grind up money <laughs> and cut that out so that you don't have to watch me just grind forever, or if I want to leave the grinding in. I, d I don't know if tents get rid of status effects, such as poison. Because if they don't, then we have to just hope that Lazarin doesn't die before we get to Elfheim. Because I'm... Oh no, he's about to die. Oh no, we were not ready for these. Why? Why? Oh my god, not this bullshit already. These were some of the things I was afraid of facing. Um, they really shouldn't put in enemies that are above your level. They should not do that bullshit. Oh no, oh no, I'm about to get pissed off. Okay, um... They're both poisoned. And I'm convinced that they won't make it back before they die. Whether it be because of the poison, or because of the fucking enemies. Because if we come across more scorpions, I'm pretty convinced that we're gonna die. At least we got a preemptive strike. I guess all we can do at this point is try. I don't have any phoenix downs. And I think if I use a tent, um, it won't have any, any effect on party members that have already been KO'd. This is a shitty situation. Uh, I guess let's just keep using, keep using Cure. I think it's the only have, it, the only hope I have. Oh no, Warg Wolves. Uh, you guys cannot take these guys on your own. Okay. Let's just hope we keep coming across enemies we can run away from. Otherwise, I think we're fucked. And I'm not ready to get pissed off right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just run away. Thank you. Ah, oh, god, this fucking encounter rate. Just let me go. Oh, thank you. Alright, I think we'll make it back. Barely. Hopefully nobody should be too behind on experience. Because I don't think we actually beat... Oh, no. 
Stop. God damn it. Quit. I don't think we actually beat any enemies <sighs> while they were fainting. Oh, I know where we have to go. Um, so the inn will not revive fainted or, you know, KO'd party members. So we have to go to the sanctuary. Um, that's just how it's designed. So I think the sanctuary is right here. Yep. All right. So let me heal these two. Um, there we go. And then, oh, I've already got a headache. Not literally, but this is stressful. So, okay, we got them resurrected. Wow. Yeah, no, I fucking hate the scorpions at this point in the game. We'll get to a point where they're not a problem for us anymore, but right now, I hate them. So, yeah. Until we get to that point where they don't really threaten us, they're gonna be a headache. Um, I don't remember where the item shop is. Because we need antidotes. Much like in Pokemon, for example, uh, steps that you take in the overworld while any of your party members are poisoned does damage to their health. Luckily, Cure is not that expensive of a spell to cast. So I think I can just keep casting... Oh, I already showed you guys that. I think I can just keep casting Cure on them until we find the goddamn item shop. It's right here. Okay. Uh, we need antidotes. Two of them. Right now. And then we also need po potions. Uh, nine of them, if you please. And that should be it. Uh, maybe just a tent for good measure. Uh, gold needle... We, that, we actually might need one of those. Okay, so the thing with stone is that um, you get turned to stone. You know, it, your character is basically effectively dead. So, like, if all four of your characters got turned to stone in a single battle, I'm pretty sure it gives you a game over as if all four of your party members had died. And the only way to cure it is with a gold needle. That's the only thing that cures stone. I'm pretty sure there's no spell that cures it. But gold needles are fucking expensive. So I just, the, the pacing of enemy strength and uh, item cost is pretty poorly done in this game. I just don't understand it. Because no matter what, your character needs to be able to buy the shit that they need. <laughs> Pretty, you know, mind-blowing concept, I guess. I don't know. Must have been for these guys. I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to sound like I'm bitching. I am bitching, but I, I realize it, and I'm trying to hold back, but... Basically, let's say you're starting somebody out at level 1. And for every enemy that they defeat, they only get so much gold. You can't make an item that they need cost way more than they could possibly get at that stage of the game without grinding. Basically what I'm saying is, don't make a game where grinding is a core mechanic that you have to do. Make grinding optional. That's all I'm saying. Because in this game, it's basically a core me mechanic. You, you can get by without grinding, but it'll be by the fucking skin of your teeth. 
or whatever the fucking, whatever the saying is. By the hair of your chinny chin chin, I don't fucking know. Um, I don't remember if I got weapons here or not. The iron nunchucks. Okay, I don't think I did get that. Or did I? Equipment? No, I did not. Okay. And he's not at the level where his bare fists are better than his weapons yet, so... We need to get that. Everyone has optimal weapons, so... Let me just check and see if there's any better armor I can get. Looks like there is, but I don't have enough money for it. Okay, so everybody can wear a leather cap. I'm gonna get one of those for everybody. And since nobody can wear the helm, I'm not gonna buy any. I don't know how much these will help, but hopefully they do something. They only add one point of defense, so that's not that great, but I think we need it. Every little bit does help, it's just I wish it was more than a little bit. So, I'm trying to, like, strategize, plan out what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't really know what else I can do right now besides just grind to get the money for the equipment, because obviously, at this, I mean, well, not necessarily obviously, but I don't think at this level we're ready to take on the, uh, the marsh cave. So, the king has asked us to go into the marsh cave to get the crown, I am assuming that in return, we'll either get, uh, you know, maybe, I mean, maybe the, there won't be any runaround and we'll just get what we need to wake the prince up, but then again, if he's the king and he has what it, what we need to wake the, prin the prince up, why wouldn't he just give it to the prince? I'm assuming the prince would be his son. Why would you not wake your own son up for the future of your own kingdom? I don't know. Uh, so, if he is the king, then I'm assuming he does not have what we need to wake the prince up. But, we did meet that witch, Matoya. So maybe after we give the king the crown, uh, he'll, he'll give us the eye? That Matoya needs. And if we give that to her, I don't I don't know what we'll get. Maybe she'll have what we need to uh, wake the prince up. I mean we at the end of this, we gotta wake the prince up. I just don't know who has what, okay? I actually do, but just play along. I don't really know what to talk about. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of stuff, but nothing's coming to mind. I'm basically just, like I said, grinding money for the right equipment. We've got the best weapons we can possibly have. It's just we don't have the uh, armor. Um, Did I not? I didn't buy more antidotes. I should have. I guess I only bought enough for what we would need. Um, Alright, looks like Duncan is not having a good time. I don't remember how I came up with the name Duncan, by the way. It might have been one of those randomly generated names. I cut out the part where I was naming everybody in the very first video. Because I spent way longer on that than I should have. So, yeah. Just to end up using the same names I used before. <laughs> oh, I don't realize why I went in that big-ass circle. Wasted time and precious HP. Do I want to get ten of them? I don't think I want to get ten of them. Um... Couple more potions. Okay. 
Uh, antidote. There we go. Potion. Buy one more, and then one more. All right, I guess we just go back to the old grind. And it's not even necessarily grinding for levels, although we do need that too, because those scorpions kind of whooped our asses. I'm not lying. Like, the only reason we survived is because we ran away. So, we do need to get strong enough to be able to face those scorpions without worrying too, too much. But I'm mostly just grinding for money, because there's no other way to make money besides battling. So the experience we get and the levels we go up in the process are basically just a byproduct, and they're not the end result. Or, well, they are the end result, but they're not the goal. It's hard to word that shit sometimes. If my voice sounds a little, uh, hoarse, or, uh, worn out, it's, uh, it's because that off and on throughout the whole day, I've been singing this song that's been stuck in my head. Um, it's a Japanese song, and it's by a band called Muk. Uh, or in Japanese it's been pronounced Muku, but I I just say Muk. But um, it's called Daremo Enai Ie. It's from their fourth album, Kuchike no Toru. And I don't I don't speak Japanese, but. I'll be damned if I didn't memorize every single word to that entire song. I'll also be damned if I can do it <laughs> without messing up the rhythm, but, you know. I really like that song. I, I'm into some Japanese rock and metal. I'm not like super deep into it, but, you know, mostly all I know is just like, uh, like, I don't know, late 2000s Visual K new metal bands. Muck, Guru Gamesh, The Gazette, Dude on Grey. Um, Despair's Ray before they uh, broke up. So yeah, that's pretty much my taste in Japanese rock. Uh, I also like this English speaking band. They basically sound like a like a modern, well, I don't want to say like a modern Limp Biscuit because Limp Biscuit is still together, but I mean, they sound like Limp Biscuit. I, I can't mask it. They're called Crazy Insane. They wear masks, um, and not a lot is really known about them. Uh, nobody knows for sure who all of the members are. And basically, the main lead everybody has to go on is the voice of the lead vocalist and the fact that the band opened for a slip uh not fest slipknot in japan or i don't know if they opened or if they just played there or i, I don't know what it was but yeah uh i like them they only have one ep out so far so um and i haven't heard anything about or from them since <laughs> Very mysterious, I guess. It's strange that these guys are better at keeping the mystery to their band than Slipknot was back when Slipknot first started. Because, like, from what I remember, I you know, I might be off base on this, but I remember Slipknot getting really heavy hate uh, back when they first started. And yet, basically all of the members were, like, unmasked or confirmed or whatever before the cycle of their second album even came around. And, um, these guys, Crazy Insane, they've been around for, like, three, four years now, and nobody knows the members. I mean, they think that the lead vocalist is the vocalist of the band, um... Her Name in Blood, I think is what it's called. I think that is the name of the band. They're, they're also Japanese. Um, 
but everyone believes that the lead vocalist is that guy. I've never listened to Her Name in Blood, so I don't know what they sound like. Um, from what I've read, they're supposed to be like metalcore, sort of, but I don't know. But yeah, I, I like Japanese new metal. I just like new metal in general. It's not everybody's favorite. Um, it has gotten a lot more acceptance retroactively. Like, uh, because people are looking back on it and being like, okay, it wasn't that bad. So. And I, I'm not even talking about, like, ironically. I wholeheartedly mean that I like new metal. And if you have a problem with that, then I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I have faith in my own musical taste and, uh, yeah, in my own writing style and everything. And I'm not gonna doubt my own music taste just because some fucking, I don't know, uh, elitists want to try and claim that their stuff is better. I don't care. The reason I'm not talking about the game right now is because there's not really anything to talk about in the game. I'm just grinding, like I said I would. Really, I don't even know if it's entirely necessary, but I would rather be safe than sorry. And uh, I'd cut it out, but it's kind of an important lesson to learn that this is a large chunk of the game. It's just fucking grinding. Depending on the way you play it, but... I mean, really, no matter which way you play it, at some point you're gonna be grinding. It's just a matter of when you get it out of the way. And me, you know, there are some people who like to get it all out of the way right at the start of the game, if they can. So that they are always a higher level than they need to be for whatever section of the game. But for me, uh, I prefer to just do it as the need ar arises. And right now, I feel that the need arises, not only because of the stuff that we need to get, but also because of the goddamn scorpions. But, I think I'm about, eh, I'm not necessarily out of time, but I don't want this video to be super long. So basically, what I'm saying is that I'm going to do this one last battle, and then I'm going to call it. So, sorry this entire episode was just grinding. I mean, we we did keep up with the story. I caught you up. Okay, so we're all on the same page. It's just that uh, to go through Marsh Cave without too much uh, headache or stress, I feel it necessary to grind beforehand. And I don't like cutting footage out of videos. Uh, if I can avoid it, then I would prefer to. And the only reason that I didn't cut out, or well, the only reason I did cut out uh, me naming the characters is because that added in absolutely nothing. You know, it wasn't gameplay, it wasn't... I didn't say anything clever, it just made the video needlessly longer than it needed to be. That was a bit redundant, but oh well. Um, so yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. I haven't really known what to say this entire time, but I feel like that's to be expected by now. Oh well. I'm trying not to stress too hard over it. So, uh, yeah, basically, in the next episode, hopefully we should be ready to take on the Marsh Cave, get the crown, give it to the king, and see what that does for us. Uh, maybe we'll be able to wake up the prince and, uh figure out how to get a hold of that mystic key uh, because we also need that mystic key to open two doors in the chaos shrine we could only open doors on the left half of the chaos shrine but not on the right half and they were both locked with the same kind of lock that needed that mystic key so apparently there's going to be quite a few things we're going to be able to get once we do get that key i just don't know how to get it yet yes i do play along uh, hopefully we'll figure everything out in the next episode, and uh, until then, peace.